Hello, what's up everybody? Welcome to my channel. So welcome to the show. The article I read, Netflix plans to get everyone watching foreign language content. So when I read the article, I think it's interesting. Netflix are uh, that basically Netflix are encouraging people, especially English speakers, to watch foreign language content. In my opinion, I think it's a good thing because it's twenty first century already. It's almost two thousand twenty. The world is going to globalization, and the shows that they mention is. For example, Alma from Spain, the TV show from Spain. This show is about it, it's supernatural. About a girl woke up, she had amnesia. She has no memory of an of an accident of what happened to her classmate. It's I have not seen that show, but it sounds like a mystery show to me. The second example is Ragnarok from Norway. It's about it's no, Norse mythology from Vikings, and it's a common of age drama, television drama. It's going to go. It's now in a production. It's going to be released in two thousand twenty, and the third example is. Dark. I don't know what is this show is about. The TV show called Dark is a German show. It does it, it does not says in the article what is it about. It has ninety percent of its viewers outside of Germany, rank in top ten multiple countries. And to read more about that, I'll link it down to the description below. Below. It, it's not that long ago that the first foreign language shows that broadcast in Netflix was two thousand fourteen. As of two thousand sixteen, the Brazilian hold three percent of its Netflix content. So, of its content, um, I'm not a big fan of Netflix to be honest. But I don't know what else to say. It's a good thing. I think it's a good thing, and since a globalization, a uh, learning foreign language is. It's easier when you're younger, but as you get older, it become harder. Learning foreign language can change, makes you think. It changes the way you see the world, change the way you you perceive things, you think things. Things learning a multiple language study says that it reduces risk of mental problem when you're in old age. So for me, I am learning, still learning Spanish, Portuguese, Italian. At the same time, while I am struggling with full time job, working as a wait waiter and chef. Yeah, it's just, it's stressful, but I. But my advice is when you do foreign language, practice with someone. Talk to find people who you can speak with in a foreign language you're learning, because if you don't use it, it become harder. And if you when you speak foreign language, it's it takes practice. Don't. Don't stumble when you speak to someone with foreign language because when you stumble, people will automatically reply 
back to you in English because when you stumble, they're going to think that you're not good, you're so bad at speaking the language you're learning. So that's my best advice I can get you. But the article, it, the news article itself, nice way to encourage people to watch international shows, movies. So I hope you all have a good one. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It's called Asher Bay Production. I'll be uploading more foreign language co content or foreign language things. So that's going to be my main topic. Cheers.